Hello and welcome to a You Thrive Ab Workout. I'm Rachel Findler and we are going to get you ready for your ski retreat. Today we're going to do three different types of ab workouts and we're going to do three sets of 10. So to start with, I want you to lean back and lift your legs up off the ground. And we're just going to stay in this position for 30 seconds and allow our ab area to warm up. Now make sure that your spine is straight and pull that belly button in towards your spine so you're pulling in your tummy, sucking it in. If this is too difficult for you, allow your feet to drop down to the ground. And if you're finding this too easy, straighten out your legs so that your body is in a perfect V shape. So just take some nice deep breaths, enjoy the warmth that's coming to your abs. Well done, and allow your feet to drop. Shuffle your bum forward and lie back. And we're going to do a standard sit up here. So bring your body up to your thighs and raise your arms and try and touch the sky. We're just gonna do 10 of these. Ensure that your feet are planted into the ground and not shuffling around. And I want you to really reach up to the sky. This will ensure that every part of your abdomen is being engaged and it stops you from curving your spine. We wanna keep that spine nice and straight. Breathe into it. You can exhale as you lift up. Well, I think I'm going for a bonus sit up here. Might as well do 11 instead of 10. And straight into the sides. So bring your elbow to your knees and ensure that both shoulder blades are off the ground at all times. This will make sure that the top part of your abdomen is engaged as well as the sides. Now, if the speed is too fast for you, that's no problem. You can slow down a little bit and go at a more controlled, slower speed. But I'm more than happy if you're keeping up with me. Okay, already first set done. Let's relax a little, get our breath back. Think about the awesome You Thrive ski trip you're gonna go on with Ian McIntosh or Raina Barkard or Jackie Peso. We're just gonna wait for a tractor to go by that interrupted my filming. <laughs> But in the meantime, we'll just enjoy the view and look at the beautiful Verbier Valley. Okay, second set. Lean your body back, feet up off the ground. And remember your variations. You can drop your feet down to the ground if this is too much, or you can straighten out your legs into a perfect V shape if this is too easy for you. Something we're going to work towards. Now remember to check in with that spine, make sure that it's nice and straight and it's not starting to curve. And make sure your feet haven't dropped as well. You always want to be able to see the tops of your feet. Some nice deep breaths, arms straight out. Well done, feet down to the ground. Shuffle your bum forwards. And remember we're gonna go into our standard sit up, upper body to the thighs and arms up in the air reaching to the sky. Remember to try and reach up top so that you can use every single muscle in your abdomen and make sure that those feet stay planted. You don't want them shuffling around and you moving up and down up on your mat. Exhale on the way up. Checking that spine, making sure it's nice and straight. I know it's easy to curve it when fatigue kicks in. Well done. And straight into our side variations. Elbow to knees. Remember, shoulder blades off the ground. This is a great one for skiing. In skiing, you know, as you move your legs and your turns, it's like a pendulum movement as you move side to side. Use a lot of those side abs in skiing, and this one will really strengthen those and help you in the pow. Well done, just lay down and relax. Oh, I have a visitor. I don't mind this guy interrupting me for a quick break. Okay, this is our final set. Think of all that pal. This is what's gonna motivate you through this last one. As you're leaning back, feet up off the ground. All right, I want you to picture your favorite ski run, whether it's a steep face or a couloir or a nice tree run, whatever it is, I want you to think of it on the best day ever. And know that all this strength in your core is what's gonna keep you balanced. And it's what is going to make you enjoy your week even more. It'll stop you from fatiguing. Well done. Feet back down to the ground. Going into our last sit-up variation. 
Okay, ready? Remember, arms up to the sky, reach up as high as you can. And exhaling on your way up. Letting all that air out. And as you exhale, push that belly button towards your spine. Make your tummy super flat. Keeping those feet planted. Well done, guys. And straight into the side to side, elbow to knees. Now for this last one, see if you can pick the speed up a little bit. I know you might be feeling a little bit fatigued, especially in that upper area of your abdominal. But let's see if you can go a little bit faster. Kick those legs out nice and straight. Remember, shoulder blades off the ground. Nice deep breaths. Coming to the end now. And relax. All right, well done, everybody. I look forward to seeing you on the Youth Thrive Retreats. And try and do this exercise three times a week or every day if you can. It's a great base for abdominal strength. For more information to ski with pro skiers like Ian McIntosh and Raina Barkard, visit youthriveltd.com.